I will be speaking on calcific nodule. Uh, I'll be speaking only on calcific nodule. The rest of the things come in automatically. From Dr. Gary Mintz in the morning to Dr. Ropali to Dr. Darshan, everybody has shown all my slides. So there is nothing new that I get to show. But however, I will try and uh, tell you certain facts which is different and which is need to be told. There are two terms which is always misused or uh, used wrongly. One is nodular calcification, another is a calcified nodule. So nodular calcification is a form of calcification in the coronary vasculature, which cannot be distinguished with radiography alone, composed of areas of nodular calcification of varying sizes with a fibrin thick intact fibrous cap. So evidence of fibrous cap disruption is absent. So till the time your fibrous cap is intact, it is a nodular calcification. The moment your fibrous cap gets broken, it is called a calcified nodule. So these are two terminologies which cannot be used interchangeably. All of us have got nodular calcification, but those in the ICU and the cath lab have got a calcified nodule. The rupture has taken place. So a calcified nodule is disruption of the fibrous cap. It is flanked proximally and distally by hard collagen-rich calcification in coronary arteries. That's why it happens. I'll explain how. So there are two types of calcification, one which has got collagen, one which has got, not got collagen. The collagen ones are tougher ones. So this is the mechanism. This uh, Rupal is already shown. However, uh, to just, just to show it to you, we have an area which is very tight in the center. I'm just trying to get the laser point. Yeah. So this, this curve. Okay. So proximal to that, you have a fibrous plug, which is very good. Distal to that also, you have a fibrous plug. The fellow in between gets squeezed because of the movement of the tortuous coronary artery, and that is where the nodule starts breaking. And once it starts breaking and it breaks the fibrous cap, it becomes a calcific nodule. And that is where the issue becomes uh, serious. So if you look at the normal uh, coronary artery anatomy where there is no calcium, that is this one I'm referring to, there is no calcific nodule, invariably your MIs are in the proximal L LCX, proximal LAD, proximal circumflex. It is, you know, it's only in the, in the calcified nodule that you get a mid, mid lesion because this curve is very important and you have to have collagen rich calcium surrounded, uh, surrounding a nodular calcium which breaks and makes into a calcific nodule. This concept is very important. And uh, if you start, this is, a, uh, this is a continuation of the previous uh, speaker. When uh, uh, the postmortem study was done, it is seen that prevalence of cal cal calcification culprit and non-culprit arteries. So if you have a calcific nodule, they, all the arteries have more than 80% chances of being severely calcified. Imaging, phenomenal choices of imaging we have from coronary CT to uh, virtual histology IVS to OCT. I will uh, just show how the things look like. So histopathology versus IVS uh, of, uh, in coronary calcium. So this is the calcific area. This is the calcific area. This is how you look at it in the uh, IVS and this is how you look at it in the, coronary, in the uh, OCT. The difference is that the margin that the lumen area is more distinctly seen with the IVUS. However, the total mass and the calculation is better with uh, OCT. So OCT is in some ways score over. So <clears throat> this is the calcific nodule which is broken. So you have, see the extent of calcium as per the, uh, as per the uh, OCT, uh, IVUS is from here to here. While you just see the calcium only this much in OCT. So the extent may be wrong, but the depth and the size of the calcium is far well defined with OCT. So you have multiple areas of calcification. This is the only thing I would like to show this, this last picture here. There's a calcific nodule. Uh, this looks like a, a thrombus in the OCT, but it's actually a calcific nodule, which is well differentiated in the IVUS. Is that where IVUS scores over OCT? So this is the uh, calcium distribution. You have superficial, deep, and nodular calcium. And this slide has already been shown. I'll just press stress on the uh, one point has been given to the calcific nodule because it is so important. And this uh, case two, which Dr. Darshan showed, did not do well. One of the main reasons is because of the calcific nodule. So uh, what have we done about calcific nodule? Everything has to be classified. Otherwise, people don't understand. So they have classified calcific nodules also. So the black things, what you see are calcium, and the, uh, the rest is not important. So you have first type one isolated nodule. Type two, you have an isolated nodule with a continuous plaque of calcium on the opposite side. Type three, nodule with a broken plaque of calcium on the opposite side. 
and type 4 multiple nodules facing each other and type 5 is the famous calcific nodule which is already broken the first four are nodular calcium and the last one is a calcific nodule that is what eventually results in a acute myocardial infarction so this uh, classification is very important because your strategy depends on how the total extent of calcium and where the calcific nodule is being placed so you have classified ivas classification so this is a classical uh, oct picture First longitudinal section shows uh, uh, and the cross section shows a image where there is plenty of nodules. You can see this nodule here, the nodule here. So a lot of nodules are seen. And here you have plain sheet calcium. So both the uh, vessels show significant amount of calcium, but the vessel on top shows nodular calcium, while the top below shows only uh, what do you call uh, sheet calcium. Why is it important? This is how the outcome comes. See, where you have the nodular calcium, your lumen area is 7.89, distal to the landing zone. Then it comes 4.0, 4.0, 4.4, and 4.49. A similar size vessel with a sheet calcium, when modified very well, you get areas of 5.16, 5.37, 5.88, and 5.42. So your response to your treatment is far superior when you have a sheet calcium as compared to a nodular calcium. So what next? I was OCT, I've been fighting with each other. So now what, what is the new kid in the block? It's called a coronary angioscopy. In coronary angioscopy, the thing looks like a cauliflower. So far, no other articles I could find out to how they are going to define this thing. This is how the angioscopy looks like. So management. Imaging in is mandatory in planning strategy, whether it's IVAS or OCT, you have to do it. Specifically so in acute coronary syndromes, when you have calcific nodules, you should not take it for granted. Rotablation is, uh, is a good strategy, provided you have a wire bias which is favorable and you are able to shave off some of the nodule. But you have to understand what Dr. Gary Min said today. However well you do a calcified nodule, it is a malignant form of coronary artery disease and the, 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 uh, the device failure rates in the first five years are phenomenal. So uh, you, whatever you do, you will find that there is calcium inside the stent and there is re, uh, re-occlusion and ISR occurring. And, and the first five-year data has not been the best in the world. Sorry, IVL. So uh, if people have said that since there is a fibrous cap on top, will the IVL work, will the IVL not work, will the shock be delivered? This is an article by Dr. Ziad Ali. It says, despite the great the greater calcium burden in the calcified nodules, the greater number of IVL induced fractures in the calcified nodules resulted in consistent improvements in luminal gain, surface area, and the stent expansion after IVL treatment. So as of now, the best option we have is IVL. That is also not the, uh, uh, the ultimate option because we don't get excellent results with, even with IVL. So we have ECLA. It is called a doubtful contribution. It will not do anything to the calcium, but it will loosen up the surrounding tissues and maybe make your process a little, earlier, a little easier. Orbital ectherectomy has been propounded. I have no experience. Even the articles which are there are very few and far. So I thought that uh, orbital ectherectomy is, uh, when it comes to India, we probably will look into it and decide what should be done. So calcified nodule is a form of coronary thrombosis, although rare, 5 to 7% mainly occurs in older persons with median age of 70 years and there is no gender bias. Uh, high prevalence of diabetes and CKD in these subjects, predominantly in the RCA. Majority of the calcific nodules are in the RCA and the bad bends. The lesions may develop in proximal and mid portions uh, where there is a bend and where there are sheets of calcium and between them there is where the nodule develops and breaks. Imaging assisted PCI is the best under circumstances. To conclude, Calcific nodule is a pain in the coronary artery. Deal with caution. Imaging is absolutely important. If you don't deal with it, and if you don't do a, as good a job as possible, it's going to come back and bite you. And prepare the bed adequately. No point in after putting the stent and finding a 55% stent expansion, trying to uh, dilate the thing all over again. Thank you.